Hello and welcome to today's video. So this is my uh, Atlas lathe here and we've got the uh, X, Y, and Z uh, adapter on here so we can do some uh, machining. I've got an end mill here, eighth inch end mill uh, in the chuck and we've got boxes for the uh, battery pack sniffer and we will be uh, making this square part today for the display to poke through and I've got some marks here on the sides for um, doing the uh, for the connectors as well but you can see I got a few of them to do I'll um, do a quick video just showing uh, one of them and then I'll go ahead and <laughs> make the rest but uh, first thing we're gonna do is just grab a random box and throw it in here and uh, the box is kind of tapered so it doesn't want to sit smoothly um, but we kind of uh, just make that work. So this is a little plate here made out of aluminum that just pops in there and then just uh, go ahead and hand tighten these. They don't have to be super strong because we are cutting through plastic which is not too bad. So we'll go ahead and just finger tighten those and that's in there pretty good. If we look, yeah, it's down in there pretty good. It's at a slight angle, but um, we're going to be cutting this bottom one, and that is in line with the bottom piece here, and that's what's important. So uh, for those that don't know, uh, any lathe can be a horizontal end mill, and uh, with the addition of this uh, the Z axis here, so that lets me move it. I can rotate this, and I can move the uh, box up and down with respect to the cutting bit, and then this carriage goes in and out for cutting along the uh, that becomes your new Y axis and then we still have this carriage for X or well I guess it's Z yeah it depends on which, <laughs> which whose point of view really if you're going from the cutter then this is technically Z uh, this becomes your Y and this becomes your X but uh, anyways well it will it it gets the job done. So what we're going to do is just kind of come up real close here and then uh, we're going to move this over so we're starting at a nice uh, point. So we move that. Is this all the way in there? That's pretty good. So we're going to try to line up our line real close and then we're going to adjust th this direction here so we're going to go up a bit so we just want to be at the corner and we'll put that real close so that we can see how close we are and we want to be like right we want to be on the line because I can always file it you know it's easier to take away material and is to add it back and if we look this direction it'll focus we're going to move that this way a bit and that should get us pretty close yeah I like that and then uh, what we're going to do is lock this this makes it so it can't go up and down anymore so that locks that and uh, we're just going to make a plunge cut and then go across here. So we're going to rotate. We're actually going to move this a little bit because sometimes I get it the direction wrong because I'm used to using this as a lathe. And uh, so we'll start like here in the middle. <laughs> or not in the middle, but on the edge. So that we'll, we'll, we'll come up to it and then, uh, and then come back. So I'm explaining all this now. Let me get the focus here. You can see. Yeah. I don't know what it takes for it to refocus. There it goes. You can see we're right on the line. So uh, it's going to be noisy when I turn this on, so that's why I'm explaining it. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and... Um, I got this... Uh, the, uh, this transmission here is not engaged, so we're doing a direct drive. And then, um, actually, if I, if I engage this, now it's actually tensioned. You can see... We're not using this little extra shaft right here in the back, which gears it down farther. So we're actually going, I'm not, I don't have it on the slowest. I got it on the second slowest. 
Um, we don't want to melt the plastic. We actually want to cut it. And then we'll go ahead. This, this switch doesn't do anything anymore. Uh, I rewired it to this. And we'll put her in forward. And we're ready to start cutting. So we'll see how well I can do this one-handed here. So we're just going to go in about enough that we break through, which we're through now. And then uh, we're going to start the carriage here. We're going to go towards the line. And just hit it. Oh, you can't see, can you? And now we're going to go away from the line, down the edge here. And we'll just slowly cut our way across. See if I can get a better angle so that it uh, actually focuses. Ah, <laughs> uh, can't blow it off. <laughs> here, I'll hold this up here. Yep, I can't get it with the phone in the way, but um, just go ahead and cut that. There you go, that's better. And then I'm just spinning about this quick. See if I can do this and come up on our line here. We're really slow and we hit it. So that's pretty good. Go ahead and back out. And we can shut her off. And you can see. We didn't melt anything, and uh, if you look in there, that's a nice, nice straight cut all the way across. No melting, perfect. If I can get it to focus, there you go. You can see in there. Ah. One of these days, I'll buy a real camera. There you go. Now it's in focus. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And the next thing we're gonna do is uh, undo this again. Take that out. I'm going to flip it so you can see how. Maybe. Yeah, my line's not too great, but the cut is nice and straight. The, um, this is, is dead on. <laughs> Go ahead and put that back in that way. Put this back in. And we'll go ahead Get that tightened up again. And again, we're just going to finger tight it. It doesn't need to be... I don't want to squeeze the plastic too bad. And then we're going to cut this bottom piece again. And then we'll come back and cut the two sides. So this is... We're going to unlock this because we got a re-zero. And we'll run back to the end here. Because that makes it easier to see. Go ahead and put the bit right up there. And we should be off a little bit, so we're going to loosen that up because the display is asymmetric. It's taller on one side than the other. And we're going to move down and be right. That looks good. Now I'll go ahead and tighten that up again. Keep that from moving on us. Get right on the edge. And then we'll look from above here. And we'll get right on it like that. And actually, we'll we'll start out here, and then come up on it, and then come back like we did last time. So you ready? right on the line and then we go the other way and we'll cut 
the rest out. Real quick. to the line. And clean that off. And our box should have a nice decent thing. And we'll leave we'll go ahead and leave it in and what I'm gonna do is we'll run down to this end here. And we'll go ahead and put it back in. And then we're going to come right up to that edge, right there. And then we're going to loosen this and we will go ahead and rotate this down and we'll cut this piece here. So go ahead and put it in gear. And now I'm just rotating this one. Just go ahead and cut that out. There you go, and then we'll continue up to the corner, and we're good. Made a nice clean cut there, and then all we're going to do is come back. Go ahead and raise that back up. And get back in here. All the way to the other end, and that should be pretty close, right there. And we'll go ahead and turn it on again. the opening for the display. Go ahead and take this out. Ta-da! It's a square. <laughs> so that should work pretty good. I can always file it to make it uh, perfect, but uh, the edges should be nice and clean because we're at the right cutting speed. And uh, if I have to file the corners to get all the way down, you know, the, the display has a little bit higher radius than the, than the eighth inch end mill that I'm using. But uh, yeah, that uh, that's pretty simple. Um, I haven't done the end yet. Uh, I'm going to do all the face plates real quick. It's a lot easier when I'm not recording. And then I guess I'll chuck it in there like this and uh, zip around and do... might be able to do this in one pass and then probably file the corners and then do that cutout. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, this video ended up being pretty long, and uh, yeah, so one down, five more to go. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.